What is up Flying Horse Farms family? How's it going? I miss all of you so much. My name is Courtney Ray and I'm here to take you guys through my favorite camp treat. So I am definitely no Chef Wes and no Chef Graham, um, but Chef Courtney is going to show you guys how to make an amazing treat that is super easy and you can make it any way you want. There's no right or wrong way to make this. And if you're anything like me, you are probably really missing campfire right now. So even though we can't all be together and we can't laugh at the fountain skit, we can't make fun of JCPenney, we can still make an awesome treat that reminds us of campfire and is so yummy and we can make it with our whole family. So if you haven't figured out what I'm talking about right by now, it's not s'mores. That's right, I'm gonna teach you guys today how to make banana boats. If you have never had a banana boat at camp, I am going to change your life. It is, they are so good, so easy, and such a fun way to relive all the campfire memories and feel like we are all together at camp. And this is an awesome activity for the whole family. So whole family can make banana boats. Um, so I'm gonna be taking you guys through the steps that you need first. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna preheat your oven. So I preheat my oven to 450 degrees, let it get warmed up while I start prepping the banana boats. So my oven is already preheated, I'm getting nice and toasty to melt all of my marshmallowy goodness. Um, and so first I'm gonna walk you guys through the ingredients that I use to make banana boats. Keep in mind, this is super customizable. You can use whatever you want, whatever um, sounds really good and yummy to you. Um, and I'll give you guys a couple of suggestions as well um, for some things that I've tried that are really good. So step one, duh, hello, it's a banana. Um, one banana per person. So if your whole family's you know, making a banana boat, just grab one for each of them. It doesn't really matter if they're um, ripe or still kind of green, they will obviously cook in the oven. So this is great. I make banana boats a lot when I have bananas that are sort of going bad. Um, put them in the oven with my marshmallows and whatever and super good. So banana, step one. Step two, of course, marshmallows. If you're not a huge marshmallow fan, that's fine too. You can skip it. Um, but marshmallows to really channel the s'mores, banana boat, gooey energy. Step two. Step three. I use um, the Enjoy Life allergen friendly chocolate chips for mine. You can use um, chocolate, you can omit the chocolate, really whatever works for you. I always keep the Enjoy Life chocolate chips um, at my house. This is what I use. Um, so whatever kind of chocolate sweet you want in here, go for it. These also come in dark chocolate, um, which are also super good. Okay, so then graham crackers. I, my personal favorite in these banana boats is actually animal crackers. So I use um, these gluten-free animal crackers from Simple Truth. Um, if you don't have a preference with gluten-free or not, feel free to use normal graham crackers. You can use cinnamon crackers, really whatever, whatever kind of crunchy element works great for you. I've also tried this without the animal crackers. Super good. You literally cannot mess these up. They are so good any way you put it. So animal crackers is our next option. Other than that, you guys can get creative. Those are the things that I'm gonna be putting in my banana boat today. You guys can get creative and put whatever else you want in it. Um, peanut butter, almond butter, if you like a certain type of nut butter, you can use that. I will say I use this um, organic dark roasted peanut butter and it's just peanuts and nuts. It does cook a little weird because there's nothing in it. It gets a little hard. Um, so if you're doing something that's like a smooth, like an all natural peanut butter, I would just top it with that at the end instead of baking it. If you're doing um, like a Jif, a Skippy, something like that, that's fine to go in there. That will melt um, a lot better than like an all natural peanut butter would. Still good, just a little bit. The texture is just a little bit more dry. So, 
Oh, you can also use um, dried fruit is really good in banana boats. Um, if you use raisins, cranberries, anything like that um, is also a really good option. If you want to put a candy or something in there, those just like you would a s'more, those um, are good options as well. Feel free to kind of do whatever challenge by choice, whatever feels right for you um, is there's, there's no wrong way to do it. Okay. The other thing you're going to need aluminum foil. We're going to wrap this puppy in aluminum foil. All right, let's get started. Okay, you guys, here we go. So I have cut a piece of aluminum foil that's going to be big enough to wrap my entire banana in. I'm going to take my banana and I'm just going to take a little knife and slice it right down the middle. Okay, so once you have your slice down the middle, you're just going to kind of squeeze it together to open it up a little bit so you can put all of your yummy toppings inside. If knives really aren't your thing, that's totally fine. You can just peel the banana and peel back a little section of it and um, you can just stick your yummy toppings in there and then stick the top back up since we're going to wrap it all up together anyway. Um, you don't have to use a knife if um, that is doesn't feel right for you. Um, but cut it open, just get a little hole so you can stuff all your yummy goodness. I'm gonna start with the chocolate chips. So that's gonna be step one. I'm gonna pour them into um, the banana boat, as many as you want. Okay, so you can see I shoved my chocolate chips all the way down there. Um, and then I like that because it melts, um, the chocolate obviously melts the most. So then from there, you can put your marshmallows, your animal crackers you're just gonna cut up um, and you're gonna stuff both of their those in here as well as many as um, as many as you would like gonna stuff them right in here now okay so you can see I stuffed my animal crackers on the outside and then just shoved some marshmallows um, down the middle and now that I have everything stuffed inside my banana boat I'm gonna wrap it in foil so I'm gonna Keep shoving that down in there a little bit tighter. I'm just gonna lay it on its side and then just wrap it so that it's nice and nice and cuddled in there like a little blanket. All right, so my banana boat is all wrapped and ready to go in the oven. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna throw it in the oven. Okay, once your banana boat is stuffed and wrapped and ready to go in the oven, put it in there. Um, I usually start with about seven minutes. Give it a little check at seven minutes if it's ooey gooey melted enough for me feel free to eat it. If it's not yet, um, I will bake it for up to 10 minutes. Kind of depends on what you put in your banana boat. So um, just give it a little check see and then um, I'm gonna time travel in 10 minutes in the future and I'll be right back. Hey you guys, I just time traveled and I um, skipped ahead 10 minutes. So I think our banana boats should be done. Let's have a look. So taking this out of the oven, you're gonna be, wanna be super careful. Make sure you have an oven mitt on. Um, the oven is at 450, so it's super hot. And then you're just gonna grab it. And then let's have a little peeksie at it. Okay, that looks good. All right, see how it's all ooey gooey melty? That's what we want. Okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on a plate. It's gonna be nice and ooey gooey. The banana is gonna be melty and you can just kind of mix it all together. I like to eat it with a spoon. Um, and then here, again, feel free to top it however you want. If you wanna put anything else on it, um, like I said, if you have natural peanut butter, now would be, or almond butter, anything like that, now would be a good time to just drizzle it over the top you want to put cinnamon if you want to put some cocoa powder um, if you want to put um, some sea salt and get a little like sea salt chocolate action a um, little salty sweet that's great pretzels could be good in here um, really again the possibilities are endless however whatever feels right for you um, but now you're gonna take this 
and enjoy. And that's it, super easy, super quick. The whole process takes less than 15 minutes till you get ooey gooey yummy um, camp goodness. And um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it makes you feel a little bit more like we are at Camp Sweet Camp um, around the campfire together. Comment below and let me know if there is anything that you guys are putting in here, if you guys have any great ideas, um, things that you love in here, things that worked out really well for you, or if you change any steps in the process. Comment below so everyone else can know as well. Um, and I'd love to hear, I cannot wait to hear what you guys come up with, what you guys think about it. Um, and yeah, hopefully um, dig in and enjoy. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.